Deer Creek's Tati Manning. Uh, Coach, looking back uh, now a little bit removed from uh, winning a 5A state title, what's it like to, to have gone through that? Well, I think that um, it's been an amazing experience. Um, at times it seems surreal and people ask if it's soaked in yet and we're still enjoying it and celebrating it as a team. You know, our community has embraced us. Our school has, you know, celebrated with us and our players are continuing to celebrate. A lot of hard work uh, went into, you know, to getting to that point and being able to accomplish this amazing feat. And uh, the last couple of years, y'all have got closer and closer to reaching a goal like this. This year, you're able to break through. When did you first start thinking that this group had the uh, potential to to win a gold ball? Well, last year when our season didn't quite end exactly the way we wanted it to, we knew that um, we had to work a little bit harder and had to, you know, individually they had to commit to being all in and, and all going for the same common goal. So back in April, we really started focusing on, we had a lot of work to do and we wanted to fix those things that we needed to do. And, you know, last summer we saw that we had all the right pieces uh, to actually get to you know winning a state championship and a lot of things have to transpire over a year's period of time to actually be able to accomplish that but we did um, see that we had we showed signs of that and we showed them that we had the pieces of the puzzle there um, to actually continue on and and to be playing for a championship and that was our goal you know early in the season we saw some uh, light you know some lights clicked on for some girls and made players step up and uh, into different kinds of roles and we you know we fought through and bought, battled through some things and we stayed healthy and you know and uh, it was just it was, it's amazing for our for our players to be able to achieve that.